Amy Lindemann remembers the majesty of the city auditorium of her childhood. It was a place of red carpets, elegant gowns, and thrilling performances in a luxurious setting. Today, City Auditorium looks like this. In the midst of the dust and debris, Lindemann is restoring the venue to its historic splendor. The San Angelo artist is helping to renovate the nearly 90-year-old auditorium. Lindemann is painstakingly restoring and repainting each ornate plaster carving, beginning with the gigantic medallions that surround the lights on the balcony's underside. The pieces crumbled when they were removed to install new wiring and lights. When workers hung them back up, they seamed up the pieces as best they could, leaving Lindemann to fill in the gaps with plaster and paint. And I'm getting the hang of it, and I'm loving it. I'm actually feeling like, you know, Michelangelo, this finally, like I'm sculpting. I'm able to wear headphones and get in a zone. <laughs> the intricate painting, she said, comes easy. Lindemann is well-versed in color, lighting, and layering of paint. Sculpting with quick setting compounds has been more challenging. It's nerve wracking, because I'm like, I've got to do this right, that I'm so anxious about, because I want it to be perfect. Because I'm like, oh my gosh, this is history, so I don't want to screw it up. <laughs> I want it to be perfect. That's one of the reasons Lindemann also spends much of her weekends at the auditorium, working in solitude. The other is that it's given her purpose. After returning to her hometown from Austin, she struggled at times finding steady work as a graphic artist. She's freelanced a few projects and sold some paintings. But helping return polish to the Grand Hall where she danced as a child feels different, like a calling. While eager to see the finished work, Amy Lindenman is also savoring the experience. This one is like finally like, you know, oh, finally I have something good <laughs> that actually means something to the community too. For SATV, I'm Anthony Wilson.